What's your name? What's your name? What's your no don't no don't don't cry. Oh god. Gemma Perry and welcome to Mooncake ESL Teaching Made Easy. If you're new here then you need to know that I make weekly ESL teaching tip videos to help you improve your English teaching. So if you are teaching ESL abroad make sure you subscribe below and hit that notification bell for weekly ESL teaching tips. Also real quick if you are new here say hi in the comments below and let me know where in the world you are teaching. Teaching what's your name can be challenging and this is because it's usually one of the first things we teach and so students English level is usually quite low. Most especially when we're teaching young learners it can be quite challenging to get students to participate. So stay tuned because today I'm going to share a couple of fun ways that I use to teach students to introduce themselves. But first let's take a look at one of the biggest hurdles we face when teaching students English for the first time. Now a lot of teachers get intimidated when first teaching a new class because not only do students not participate, they also give you the stare. Now this can make you feel quite helpless. No matter what you do, you just can't get students to speak. But there's no reason to feel disheartened. Younger students just need more time to process new information, most especially a new language. The fact that students are sat staring means that they're engaged and that you have their attention. Now the key is repetition, and I don't just mean asking the same question two or three times. I mean teaching the same information for two weeks or even a month. With enough repetition you'll find that students finally start to sing and chant and join in with you. So let's look at a couple of fun ways to teach what's your name, starting with the ball roll. For this activity all you're going to need is a small ball. Start by positioning the class in a semicircle with you the teacher in the middle. Next you're going to introduce that ball to the class. It's a ball roll roll, it's a ball roll roll, it's a ball roll roll. It's a ball, roll, roll. Next, you're gonna have the whole class chant together. Roll the ball, roll the ball, roll the ball. Choose one student that was chanting along with you and roll them the ball. Next, you and the whole class are going to sing together. What's your name? What's your name? My name's Gemma, my name's Gemma. Hello Gemma, hello Gemma. Roll the ball, please roll the ball. Now obviously instead of using my name, you'll use the name of the student. And as you say that roll the ball at the end, the student will roll the ball back to you. Next, have the whole class chant once again. Roll the ball, roll the ball. Roll the ball and go again. Keep going until everyone has had a turn. How to teach what's your name with no materials. Now for this activity you're not going to need any materials other than your best singing voice. Now don't worry if you're not a fan of singing, you can adjust this song to a chant instead. Start by positioning the class in a semicircle with you the teacher in the middle. Next you're going to look at your assistant teacher and chant the question. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Your assistant teacher then replies with their name and you're going to repeat that back with the class three or four times using TPR as you do. If you're not sure how to teach TPR in your classroom then make sure you check out my video on TPR linked below. Miss Sarah, Miss Sarah, Miss Sarah, Miss Sarah. Next you're going to sing the quick hello song, encouraging the whole class to join in as you do. Hello Sarah, hello Sarah, hello Sarah, it's nice to see you, hello Sarah. Once again you're going to have the whole class chant together, what's your name, and have one student come to the front. Now most especially with new classes you're going to find that some students are too afraid to come to the front of class, and that's perfectly okay. Instead of forcing them, give them an out using English. Explain that if they don't want to come to the front, all they have to say is No thank you, no thank you, no thank you. And of course some students will just give you the stare 
That's also okay. Just repeat no thank you three times and then move on. Once that student comes to the front, you're going to encourage them to say their name. In fact, you're going to repeat their name three or four times. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. Next, you're going to have the whole class sing together. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. It's nice to see you. Hello, Jimmy. That student then sits back down and the whole class chants together once more. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? You then pick another student and go again. Keep going until everybody has been asked their name. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, repetition is key. But there's one other factor that we need to consider, and that's speed. Make sure whenever you're singing and chanting that you're going nice and slow so that students are able to follow along. If you're singing too fast, then students just simply won't be able to break that language down. So think about your class and what might be an appropriate speed to sing and chant. So there you have it, some fun ways to teach what's your name to young learners. If you like this video, let me know by commenting with the word helpful in the comments below and by sharing with your fellow teachers. If you're looking for more fun ESL games, then you can check out some of my other videos right here. That's it for this video, thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, or if you're interested in a Mooncake sweatshirt or mug, you can find them linked below. And of course, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more weekly ESL teaching tips from Mooncake.